first look at Proton AOSP ROM based on Android 12 running on the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Proton AOSP ROM based on Android 12 running on the POCO X3 Pro. Now, as you can see, security patches from October 2021. The kernel they are using is Chaldea kernel. SE Linux over here mentions it as permissive, but in fact, if you root your device and check using get enforce, SE Linux is set as enforcing, and this is how the ROM comes out of the box. This here is is your power menu and this is how the volume panel is going to look like as for your quick settings panel bam here it is this is how the quick settings panel is going to look like and they have added some extra tiles like cabc hbm refresh rate and they have also added tiles for caffeine extra dim dark theme and of course you can switch between wi-fi and mobile data in case you want to next up you do have pixel launcher baked in out of the box and select works without any issues screenshot also works like a boss and the other thing with android 12 is that you can share your images and similarly you can share the link as well from your recents and all those options are working without any issues next up let us address the elephant in the room which is material you so here it is this is my current theme the accent color everything is set as blue the icons for google apps are also blue let us go into wallpapers and style so this is your ui you can of course change your app grid you do have a toggle for themed icons and dark theme let us go ahead and go into change wallpaper here and let us select elementary and try to change over to some other theme so here it is green one bam here it is everything has switched over to the green accent color the clock has changed the icons have changed the volume panel has changed and the same thing applies for my quick settings panel as well so yes material U is working on this build out of the box and it does look super dope next up let us talk about the widgets so let us go into widgets of course make sure you have updated all your applications from the play store and the android easter egg of paint chip or paint tiles is available works without any issues and you can share any color which you want to similarly once you update the clock application you should have the five widgets for the clock app as well here it is stopwatch and if you bring over the digital one you should have the option of choosing between background color of solid or transparent similarly press and hold on the empty space go into home settings at a glance is there works without any issues and as you can see in the at a glance the weather is working like a boss next up let us head over to the application drawer and this here is a known issue that the search bar is not in the correct color but as you can see system wide search is working without any issues and you can of course configure what all content you want to be shown in the system wide search next up let us head over to settings so this here is your settings ui and if i search for game i do get the option for game dashboard but if you go into game settings there it is nothing is there so gaming mode or android 12 game dashboard is not available we can also go into sound and here and go into do not disturb and schedules so as you can see the gaming schedule is not available on this build next up let us head over to apps and here and go into see all applications go into chrome go into permissions you will notice you have the option of configuring your access to the network and similarly you have sensor access as well and then if you go into location you do have three different options no option for your approximate or precise location toggle is missing other than that you do have the option of removing the permissions if app is not used and once that is done it is going to show in the unused apps over here next up let us head over to notifications so in notifications you do have your per app notification control notification history is there and you should be able to access it from your quick settings panel as well once you have enabled it priority conversations along with bubbles are there now do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you have a toggle for annoying notifications saner heads up and all the other options which you see on your screen right now next up we can head over to 
battery so in battery you do have thermal profiles yes you can choose between default benchmark browser camera dialer gaming and streaming other than that in battery you do have your battery usage graphs along with battery saver extreme battery saver is missing adaptive battery is there along with the toggle to show the battery percentage and blink the led when the battery is low moving over to the next option which is storage so this is how the storage ui is going to look like and of course you can enable the toggle for storage manager and free up space in case you want to then you have sound so in sound you do have toggles for all the different options now something new which is present in proton aosp is the option to link and unlink your ring and notification volume then you can also choose increasing ring volume and once you enable this toggle you do have sliders for start volume and ramp up time other than that live caption is there but when i try to download it it gives me an error even though i am in that specific option so live caption unfortunately is broken then you have toggles for all the other options including vibrate to indicate call status direct sound enhancer is present along with clear speaker and yes you can control the haptic feedback and this option is working absolutely fine next up we have display so you do have a bunch of customizations and display adaptive brightness is there but if you go into lock screen you do have ambient display now in my limited testing raise to wake works absolutely fine hand wave is a bit wonky next up you have the option of screen timeout and the option of screen attention is of course missing then you can enable or disable your dark theme based on sunset to sunrise or a custom time sunset to sunrise of course is going to access your location then you can change the font size the display size you can change the dpi as well and you also have the option of hiding the notch in case you do not like the notch of course there is some delay and it is not perfect right now the ui does take some time to kick in then of course you have night light again same thing you can schedule it based on time or sunset to sunrise and you can also control the intensity then you can switch between natural boosted and saturated of course you can change the rgbs as well as you can see working without any issues next up you also have 120 this might say 90 but 120 is in the building as you can see on the top left 120 and that is what we have been using and of course you have a toggle to show the refresh rate as well additional display features of hbm and cabc are there feel free to pause and read what they do but they are working without any issues then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen the toggle for checking your face for auto rotate is missing then you can of course configure your screensaver double tap to wake and wake to plug let us check if double tap to wake is working or not bam there it is and surprise surprise you also have double tap to sleep on the lock screen working like a boss next up you have the option of security so unfortunately no face unlock you only have fingerprint unlock and with fingerprint unlock works absolutely fine but you only have touch to unlock no press to unlock for the fingerprint next up we have privacy so in privacy you do have your privacy dashboard here and you can see what has access location camera microphone and the other options over here similarly you also have toggles for camera access microphone access and importantly clipboard access as well so what are these new toggles all about let me open the camera application and here in if i start recording a video now if i access my quick settings on the top you will notice i have a notification which is telling me that the camera is being used by camera application in fact over here i should also have the notification that microphone is being used and using the quick settings toggles which we have if i disable this toggle so camera access right now is blocked and as you can see it has now disappeared and my recording is working but it should not be recording anything there it is i am now getting the error that cannot connect to camera why because i have blocked access to the camera similarly you can disable access to the microphone as well next up let us head over to system here and go into gestures you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation three different options 
you have gestures you can swipe to invoke the assistant in case you want to do then you can also configure the sensitivity of the left edge and the right edge those of you who want two button navigation can use that and similarly if you want three button navigation you have the option for that as well one handed mode is there works without any issues you can of course create a shortcut for your one handed mode as well and you can move this shortcut around wherever on the screen you want to do that next up you also have the option of press and hold the power button for assistant and bam there it is now i can invoke the assistant using the power button how do you turn your device off then well you can do it from your quick settings panel in case you are using the option of press the power button to unlock your device next up in gestures you do have switch screen off so again this is double tap to sleep on the lock screen three finger screenshot is also there and you can configure your playback control using the volume rockers in case you want to and you also have a toggle to enable advanced restart so let me go back and disable this option here it is going to restart bam advanced restart is there and the next thing we can try is three finger screenshot working without any issues of course with android 12 you do get extended screenshot as well and as you can see the magnification effect is working without any issues choose the content you want to capture tap on save on the top left and you are good to go screenshot taken without any issues other than that you also have something called system ui tuner so herein you can configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar next thing we can check for is safety net so safety net is not going to pass out of the box you will have to root your device and i am using magisk version 23.0 rooted without any issues then i installed magisk hide props config and i am using the config from redfin or pixel 5 android 12 and here it is you can see safety net is passing without any issues if i go to the play store and check for play store certification you will notice that it is certified which means your banking apps are going to work without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine now unfortunately live caption is broken on this build for now but picture in picture works of course for picture in picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos you get storage saver unlimited original is going to count against your device storage then if i try to edit a picture of my favorite football star over here and i go into portrait i do not get the option of portrait light so that option is missing on this build but again do note everything has adapted to material you now in respect to the google assistant the lady is present and she will help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well next up let us have a look at the app opening animations now do note the refresh rate is set as 120 and there it is you can see the app opening animations on your screen right now there is a little bit of lag it's not like super bad but there is some jitteriness which i can notice with the naked i as for the recents here it is recents are pretty smooth then if i try to switch between applications again no issues with respect to switching between the applications everything does seem pretty smooth then let us also have a look at the google feed here it is google feed on your screen so no issue with respect to scrolling in the google feed either everything is absolutely fine super fast and super smooth switching from the google feed to your home screen also works without any issues let me check the app opening animations one more time yep there is definitely some jitter in the app opening animation which i can see with the naked eye so that is one area where the rom does need to improve but other than that it is a pretty awesome and a pretty great build for those of you who do want to try android 12 on your poco x3 and there it is peeps that was our first look at proton aosp rom based on android 12 running on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you